Ma'am, in your introduction, you told that you've done specialization in infertility and IVF. What exactly it is? So, infertility is the inability to conceive, inability to become pregnant. Uh, we generally wait for a period of around one year before we label a patient as um, infertile and we uh, start doing the investigations. Uh, infertility is a very vast spectrum of diseases in which there are a lot of things which we need to consider whether it is a female factor, uh, a lady who is uh, having any problems in conceiving or it is the husband who is having a, a problem in conceiving because infertility is not a disease, it is a problem of a couple so we have to always treat and always counsel the couple as a whole and not just look after the problems with wife the um, problems with wife are around 40%, the problems with husband are around uh, 40%. Combined factors that both uh, the husband and wife are having certain factors because of which there is subfertility. That is a slightly less chances of getting pregnant uh, in both the husband and wife. And in another 10% it is unexplained. That is after doing every possible investigation, still we are not able to find out that what is wrong or mostly that everything is right but still the patient is not able to conceive. Now when we talk about infertility, the treatments available are starting from uh, simple treatments like a ovulation induction. In ovulation induction, we just improve the egg quality or we try to induce ovulation. If the patient is not becoming, not getting egg, egg released every month, we try and make the egg for the um, lady by giving her certain medications. And then we monitor her uh, ovulation, we monitor her, how the egg is being formed and the day the egg is released, we would tell the husband and wife to have contact. So that is a very basic form of treatment which uh, is given to patients at the start of a treatment. Uh, then later or more complex uh, treatments can be offered and in that IUI and in IVF are the other options. In IUI, we take husband's sperms the sperm is collected in the laboratory, it is processed, it is washed and then again it is put back into the wife's uterus. So this has a very good success rate and a relatively simpler and relatively cheaper procedure. While in IVF, IVF is done for patients who are really trying for fertile, uh, treat pregnancy since a very long time and are not able to become pregnant and there are certain um, indications like both the tubes, the, uh, the fallopian tubes are blocked or the egg woman is just not able to produce eggs or the husband has got very very low sperm count or the sperms are not um, motile enough. In all these cases we can offer IVF. Now in IVF what we do is we try to give certain medications, injections to the woman which are given daily from, starting from the first day of the period and they will be continued for 11 days and on the 11th day uh, or 13th day, 11 to 13th day, we do egg pickup that is after producing say 7, 8 or 10 eggs, we remove all the eggs from the body and then we put them in a dish and then ask the husband to give the semen sample, take the sperms and then put the sperms in the egg. So that's why it's called a tested baby that actually a two cell baby is formed outside the mother's body. It remains outside for three days to five days and according to the development we put it back into the mother's uterus on either day three or day five. This is called as an embryo transfer. <coughs> so in IVF it has got two subsets. First is ovum pickup and second is the embryo transfer. And this entire process is called as an IVF. IVF is in vitro fertilization. The success rate of in vitro fertilization in best possible centers is around 50 to 60 percent, and it is internationally the same all over. Uh, even in India, we are achieving the success rate which is similar to the international standards. The most important thing which a couple has to understand while undergoing the IVF treatment is that IVF gives a success rate of only 60% and not of 100% because many couples come with a preconceived notion that once they are going to go into uh, going for IVF they are going to take home the baby. So it is not that even with the best possible efforts in the best possible centers the success rate is only 60% 
the number of IVF cycles which we can do definitely will increase the chances of pregnancy. So we can do up to three to six IVF cycles also, and then of course the success rate would increase from sixty to eighty to eighty-five percent. Okay, and ma'am, what about the cost incurred under the treatment? Uh, IVF would is quite an expensive treatment. On an average, uh, the IVF procedural cost is around seventy thousand plus medicines. So medicines or injections would range anywhere between fifty twenty five to fifty thousand. So total cost of the package would go somewhere around one lakh to one lakh fifty thousand. Okay.